how to jump rope like a savage. Welcome back, my friend. Now, everyone's been asking, how do you jump rope the way that you do, Chess? In this video, I'm going to break it down. Now, I like to do basic things. A crisscross, criss, open, crisscross, criss, open. As you can see right there, heel toe, heel toe, and double unders. I'll do all of that in a mixture of jumping rope. Now, let me slow it down for you. Right there, I'm just picking up my knees. Almost like a high knee, but it's not all the way up. Kind of just like a running in place. Up, 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 left, right, left, right. Right here, I'm just doing regular skipping, okay? In this combination, I'll then add criss, cross, criss, open. Criss, cross, criss, open. Criss, cross, criss, open. While I'm doing the criss, cross, criss, open, I'm still doing my high knees, my running in place. See it? My legs right there. Criss, cross, criss, open. My feet is left, right, left, right. Left, right, left, right criss cross criss open and boom straight back to just regular jumping now i will speed that up and i'll just criss cross criss open criss cross criss open while doing the running man in place that's all it is same thing here basic running man criss cross criss open while doing the running man straight into some double unders i'll always jump rope for a minimum of 10 minutes and within those 10 minutes I'll just flow with whatever. Right there, I was just jumping regular, crisscross, criss, open, jumping on both feet. Sometimes I'll do heel toe, heel toe, double unders. I'll speed it up. There is no particular format that I do. I don't do a certain amount of crisscross, criss, opens to double unders. I just, I just do it. I get in my zone and I just push. In this clip right here, I'm picking up some speed. When it comes to the speed with the crisscross, criss open, it's more about just moving your arms faster. When I hit a really quick run, I'll still do the running man, the running in place, as you can see with my feet. And that's all it is. To really get this down is just days upon days, months upon months of just practice. Now, as you can see right here, I'm just doing regular jumps. If you want to learn how to do the running man a little better, try to do it running forward. Moving backwards right here. I'm just going in a circle. I'm just doing regular hops in a circle. When it comes to the criss, cross, criss, open, my suggestion is you keep your hands close to you. As you can see, I don't really, when I move my hands to the left and to the right, my hands are not going too far outside of my body. They're kind of still right in front of me. Now, here it is in extremely slow motion. Criss, bring my arms to one side. Cross, bring my arms to the other side. Criss open as you can see i'm still kind of doing the running man i'm landing on both feet this time i think i'm going a little slower but as i said my hands don't move too far out to the left or to the right they're still really close to my body this is how i don't get tripped up while i'm doing that criss cross criss open so you can see during that combination i'm not really jumping over the rope the rope is going to one side of me to the other side to the other side then when i open that's the actual time when I jump over the rope. I do not know why I do that. I learned it back when I was boxing years ago as a kid. I think they just use it as like a filler to kind of just get some rhythm, get some hop into the body, and just the way to break it up between just normal jumping, double unders, and going fast, just to have that smoother transition. Now, for me, when I'm doing the crisscross, criss open, I don't just stand there. I see some guys, they'll do like a crisscross, criss, and when they open, that's the only time they jump. Then after the jump, they'll stand back in place and crisscross, criss, open, crisscross, criss, open. So they'll just stand in place during that combination. For me, I like to keep doing the running man just to keep the energy up, the lightness up. Here I go with another crisscross, criss, open. See all the way to the other side open i'll have one hand go over the other oh and i went straight into a double under i'll just use it as a transition and i'll just go straight back into it understand this comes with time you gotta be just practicing every day of course i got tripped up when i first started and like the ropes were different back then they were way heavier i had those plastic beaded ropes at the boxing gym i would go to and i mean just Jumping rope the way that I do took time. So whatever you do, just keep 
at it, all right? Practice every day, at least 10 minutes every day. Just work on your footing. High knees, crisscross, criss open, double unders. If you want to, you can stretch it out longer. Half an hour, 10 minute rounds, doesn't matter as long as you get the reps in and you just practice every day, all right? Hope this video helped you with your jump rope game, how to jump rope like a savage. Keep working, keep putting in that work, and like I always say, train hard and be kind.